Hello everybody. Um, today I'm have a video about to update on the my um, go kart electric go kart project with the uh, hydraulic motor, which is came from the forklift. So um, the motor spec is about eight thousand watt and forty eight won, and I have the. Uh, I'll show you a little bit before I uh, break too much. And this one, the tag is about yeah, eight thousand watt, so eight kilowatt basically. And today is just a testing to the to be um, proof at my wiring technique is work, but you know. And I've finished my high current cables. It's a uh, fifty square mil and uh, i use this which is like over here brand new it's about ten dollar a meter so that's not that bad and i have potentiometer and i have the uh the uh curtis yeah you know this is uh curtis i bought it a little bit over current um about the uh 600 amp so I'm pretty sure they I'm gonna use like 150 amp later on but I'm having on I haven't designed battery size or anything yet and uh, here is my DC to DC converter to 12 one which is I use the uh, the contactor the yeah, high current contactor here it's a 300 amp and 12 volt. I have a diode here for the coin, and I have the pre shot resistor. I use about 500 ohm. It should be okay, you know, to protect the contact. So the rest, you know, the go kart is. I'm not sure, but it's not Japan. I'm not sure it came from where, but um, the axle is about 40 mils, kind of big enough, and a little bit wide. I can I can show you the. Um, the top view here and yeah the uh, the throttle is uh, original I haven't modified yet but I put the uh, spring to help a little bit and uh, this is a wire the, the you know they came at with there and the wire will come to here to throttle here the you know the wiper of the potentiometer 5k and this is a um, micro switch when this guy kick micro switch is on you know because this is uh, normally open and when you kick that one they close and close when the close they go to uh, 12 one is series to the contactor coil and uh, you can hear the crack and uh, they start from there so let's see I'm gonna put down my tripod here and I'm gonna step on it and I'm not gonna step that long because the battery is too small and yeah don't don't complain me yet don't judge me yet about the, the size of the cable because I don't have that um, battery to decide so I don't want to cut and this is just the free free spin so they don't they no load when they no load I'm, I'm pretty sure this the two pack here that should work you know the battery pack is like 20 amp 18650 I built it for my e-bike and I have a lot of them left over and okay and this is a key switch when you got key switch they go to that red one to turn on the box basically this right now I connect the box is half the, the 48 volt right there and this is just to turn it on you know and the switch here is a uh, 48 one to that the red one there that is a uh, schematic for you know um, this this one I'm, I'm not sure I show you the schematic yet but I'm gonna show you before I start to spin one more time so here's uh, I got a file from internet which is pretty cool you know they explain about how to put on um, relays and the uh, Curtis and blah 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 and I think you guys Many of you guys already know. Okay, 
and uh, this is a you guy waiting to see so I'm gonna a little bit spin you can hear the tag first I didn't step that long so I'm gonna move my camera to this size and to see on the you know drive train here and the drive train here um, I can explain a little bit because this is the hydraulic um, pump the motor for the forklift the uh, Japanese one the Toyota you know forklift this is this from Japan and they have what they call the, uh, the spine the they call female spy so I have to make the adapter here and uh, this is a housing we made it from machine manual milling and I use the chain 428 and that is pocket that's a big enough I can put in there because if I cannot put a bigger than this uh, because they're gonna hit the ground and and this is original uh, double size uh, display beside the brake pad <clears throat> and because this one is very close to uh, the main the dry pocket so I don't need to have the chain support or anything okay I'm gonna go back to step on the, the throttles and you probably see from here how to spin again I'm not gonna set that long okay first track so not bad right yeah everything's smooth no no friction no weird noise or anything is everything flow this um this guy have the uh, the bearing in here i put the bearing both side so i put the uh like lubricant in there and the chain have a lot of it lubricant in there and everything is run perfect so the next step is I made I need to find a battery to put on to make sure I can you know make the bracket for the both side for the battery and make it more secure enough I can go on the ground but um, I'm gonna have another video for uh, test ride again but this is just to show you my um, overall wiring function is work so I, I need to have another one is uh, the, the panel here which is already ordered which is a panel for a meter meter for like currents when it's um, you know when they draw the currents and the battery level stuff like that I order from China they probably came another couple weeks something like that and so far is very exciting for project so you guys you know and, and and many many of my friends or many of the you guys maybe ask me what the hell you guys doing here so basically i want to try out how the um, how to do how to you know how to build on the uh, bigger motor to you know scale up but this is a testing platform for me to go on testing for uh, move this one for a small compact car or even the you know like Japanese small pickup trucks stuff like that so and yeah you probably enjoy thank you very much and that's my cat because when I kick off just now he run back to the house and they come back when it's quiet okay then Thank you very much for um, watching. I'll see you guys next time. The video is almost 10 minutes. It should, should not be that long. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.